This season is just flying by already week eight of the regular season for high school football. We're now in the heart of region play. Every game now carrying even more weight as some teams try to keep hope alive to make the playoffs. Others trying to secure a home field playoff berth as we're ever closer to postseason play. Two teams who were undefeated in region play went at it last night. Fairhope and Theodore in our Fox 10 game of the week. The Bobcats hosting Fairhope last night at CA Douglas Field. Theodore undefeated at 6-0. Fairhope 5-1, but undefeated in region play. The Pirates looking to even the record with a win. Let's head to the action. High stakes 7A matchup last night. Pirates versus Bobcats for the top spot in the region. First possession for Fairhope after a Theodore three and out. Glenn Patrick takes a handoff, cuts up the middle for the walk-in touchdown. Pirates up 7-0. Theodore trying to answer back, but Tavarius Pogue is sacked on third down, forced to punt. Pirates went, waste no time. Quayla McCants takes the handoff, shrugs off a couple tackles, breaks off a 30-yard first down. Nice run there. Sticking with the ground game. Right there, McCants gets it into the end zone, untouched for a big lead in the first quarter. On to second quarter action, Pirates with the ball, Caden Creel He'll find Blaine Myrick on third and long to keep the drive alive. Farrell has to settle for a field goal try, but this one is blocked by the Bobcats, keep it a 14-point game. Theodore then with momentum. Pogue finds Raheem Quinney for the slant route. He gets it all the way down to the 45 for the first down. Sticking with that passing game, Pogue gets it to Kirsten Rogers. Normally runs it. This time it's a pass, takes it all the way in, slides in for the touchdown, gets the Bobcats on the board. 14 to 6 at the half, but check this out. Fairhope holds on to win. 21 12, big win for Fairhope out in Theodore last night. On to Spanish Ford at Blunt, another Eastern Shore versus West Mobile County action. Fireworks going off before the game. First quarter action, Brendan Bird for Spanish Ford. He'll hit Javon Reed. This will be a Toros touchdown, but the extra point no good. Toros have to settle for a 6-0 lead at that point. Second quarter, Brendan Bird back to punt, but the bad snap. Fumble, blunts, Keldrick Smith, he'll scoop it up. Looks behind him, no one's there. And off he goes, he's in for the score. Blunts, PAT would be good, and they would take the lead, 7-6. 38 seconds left in the half. Blunts, Freddie Davis, he hits Daryl Davis on the quick slant. He outruns everyone for the touchdown. But would fall the 26-34. Spanish Fort gets a big win there. St. Michael at Mobile Christian. Got the coin flip happening at midfield. The Cardinals have been on a roll. But Mobile Christian's Patrick Sullivan. He'll get the 45-yard pass out to Michael Moore. Huge gain right there. They'll keep this one going. Jordan Woolard with the 11-yard run. He's in the end zone. That'll be a 7-0 Mobile Christian lead. St. Michael, tough time getting anything. Going snap. It's going to go over the head of Josh Murphy. You saw there Devin Harris did another 11-yard TD run for Mobile Christian. And it's a big win for the Leopards last night. They hold on to beat St. Michael's 43-20. Escambia County taking on Williamson. Get your popcorn ready for the show. It's caught on everywhere in football. Second quarter, Daniel Miller of the Lions. He'll hit Hakeem Green, who picks up a big chunk of yardage, about 23 yards for the first down. And the Lions will then get on the board first. Miller takes the snap. He powers his way into the end zone. Nice run here. That'll be 6-0 Lions up at this point. And it's a Miller show. Miller will take the keeper here. He'll get the snap. Keep this one again. Twists and powers his way down. 18 yards this time for another touchdown. The Lions holding on, and they handily beat Escambia County 41-6, your final there. And that's a wrap on another week of high school football action. Beginning next week, we'll start to get a clearer look at how the playoff picture is coming together. I hope to see you then. Meanwhile, we've got more great football coverage here on Fox 10 this weekend. Starting this morning at 11, Ohio State hosts Maryland, followed by the top five matchup of Penn State at Iowa. Then an NFL doubleheader tomorrow. 
featuring the Giants at the Cowboys at 3 p.m. I'm Hustlin' Hal Sherrick, and we'll do it all again next week here on First and Ten. I'll see you then.